Right. Let's go! <laughs> hey, y'all. Hi, you guys. It's your girl, Jasmine Chivas, here. On this week's episode, we have a special guest. Woo! <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourself. So, what up, y'all? I'm um, Andre Cavasia, you know, just... Me. Andre Cavasia, yeah. that name just sounds so elegant. Like, it, bro, so elegant. It, it, it used to be like Andre. <laughs> it was a couple Andres, but that one stuck. Is and just once like, Cavasia yeah. came, it took off. So it gave me like Italian, like oh, for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, I mean, then you I know we <laughs> true don't know when to stop talking. We got to co-host true. <laughs> why true. why y'all eat me up like that in the comments? That is crazy. <laughs> but I mean, I am. But somebody gave me my props in the comments. They said, "Oh, true blows the conversation, makes the conversation." No, but flow. I do see some other stuff. True, you, I did. You too. seen it some? Uh huh. I seen. They said you take shit on that too far. Too. I do, but guess what? It I is am. what it is. I don't give two, not even one. Her game. Okay, so we normally start off with, you know, a mental vibe check. So on a scale of one to ten, what is your mental vibe for the week? I'm at a ten, babe. Oh, I'm, I'm at a I'm at a So life is lovely. No complaints. Hold on, I'm at an eight. I'm at an eight. <laughs> an eight is, you know, we ain't all the way there yet, but we cute. Okay. You cute. It's can't cute. complain. It's yeah, can't complain. I'm just going with I'm going with, with, with the flow. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. I am at a nine. Um, I'm still at the nine this week. You know, everything is just everything. Everything is flowing. Everything is progressing. Um, going back to like a couple episodes before, it was another. It was two more it, people in the LGBT mm-hmm. community that has transitioned. One was last night. Allegedly, he got hit by two trucks because he got put out his car or what? put out his boyfriend car on the highway or something like that. Allegedly, I don't know the real Dang, story. I know the, story the boyfriend it. got real, he real guilty conscience right now. It's a that's very crazy. guilty conscience right now. If that was the case and allegedly, in Atlanta? yeah, in Atlanta oh, and rest in peace, Carter. Oh, somebody love. did just post Carter. Rest in peace. How Carter. he died? He got hit by two trucks. They say. Mm. Oh, that's allegedly. the same person. Yeah. That's the same question. The other person I don't Somebody know. Somebody else just died today, yeah. though. Yeah, the other person I don't know. Um, I haven't got. We're seeing a lot of people posting them. Yeah, it's just so. Oh. But rest in peace. Rest in peace. So, which, where you at this week? I'm at a eight this week, baby. I've been drinking at the but water, <laughs> and I got Pepsi in this daily. I got Pepsi in this daily today. So literally right She's now, she's sitting on I'm that like, that one fifty Stanley. Stanley. You that Stanley. What her charm on the side, y'all? <laughs> and the name at the top. Oh, not don't the play. Name. And I got the little cover. Don't this play with cover. me, okay? Oh this Stanley, gosh. y'all hoes ain't got this Stanley. Super cute. What do you think, Barbara girl? That's right. right. So I'm excited about my Pepsi and my man come back in town this week. So you know, oh, so you feeling high. good, yeah, bitch. I'm feeling good. Really really good. Really Ooh, she is feeling lovely, I baby. Can't complain. She is feeling <laughs> lovely. That's right. Yeah. Like ten. Period. Yeah. So we are gonna do these little episodes, and then yeah. Mama Jazz gonna go get some food because I'm a little hungry. Period. That's right. Y'all like Let's Atlanta food. food. Yeah, you don't mm-hmm. like Atlanta food? No, it's too seasoned. Really? It got too much going on. I don't got time for it. But oh, I so, you, so you was on season, bitch. No, I like season, but don't do too much. I don't want my macaroni and cheese to taste like my chicken. Y'all do that here. Really? We season, but goddamn. I mean, y'all really don't know how to cook macaroni. Y'all don't Who know how to cook macaroni. Yeah. Don't. In New wait, York. where you from? New York. Brooklyn to be exact. Oh, y'all food oh wait, right. wait, 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 and wait. And y'all dirty. Let's really talk dirty about it. Dirty rats. Okay. Hood. Y'all got some good donuts though, but it's donuts like is crazy. And flies. No. Yes. Atlanta food is too, too salty. It's Don't dig in your butt while you making my chopped cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a chopped cheese in my life. And you're from New York, you bitch. You're not cheese? from New York. A bacon, then. extra cheese, extra cheese, extra bacon. That's when I was a big bitch. But now you know. What about the falafel? What are, what is the little rice thing at the little? The little... Oh, but chicken over rice? Yes. Oh, Ooh, my extra gosh. Rice sauce? With the white nice. sauce? Yeah. Extra. Immaculate. No vegetables, though. Chef's Lettuce. Kiss. No. Lettuce. I like the vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't never had it. Like we going to no try no the lettuce oh, when we go. Oh, we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where y'all go where? To, to New, New York. York. Y'all just was talking about New York crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, and but we love we still, New York. What's good? We still love What y'all going to New York for? Word on the day home. Because I got a class. Period. I love that for you. A-O-B. What's good? Do we do, so, do a freestyle that. for me, Andre. We do not. Come on, like do, do it for me. Freestyle. 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 Come on. Uh, 
<laughs> drop, drop some heat. Drop some heat. You, they want to freestyle what I say now. Bum bitches drink brandy. I don't want to be down. Yeah. I've been bad like a kid who skipped school. Got Jasmine Dre and don't forget true. We don't yeah. fuck with Ooh, broke dudes because yeah. that's so not cool. But see, it's been a minute. I'm just hoping that y'all feel this. I took a break, but I've been around real shit. That was an acronym for bars. I'm just too sick. The yeah. shit I spit be too lit. Cause start a fire, energy be loud. Surround sound, you niggas quiet. I'm so soft, you a motherfucking goblin. Grew up in the hood. All I knew was starting problems at the tender age of eight. I held my first real revolver with fights on the block, turning into gun violence. I'm so ill for real. This shit is in me. Defeated shit they sent my way, thought it would end me. I'm sicker than a bitch with a rare case of envy and I don't like the smell too much I'm not friendly if freeway got the hood on smash I step on the gas and I don't give a fuck about mileage it's hard to be inspired by the bitches you inspired y'all don't got the drive no more y'all shit tired I'm propane these bitches be big lighters and I don't start trouble but I heard through the wire that they little booze be the real ghost lighters like all girl clothes and wig shit aside the same nigga on a different type of time <laughs> I pull up to the function like I was your Uber ride with yeah. five percent tint so you can see who and Side, making me a competition. You asking for suicide. Please get that Dukeles Mujeles. I be wowing. So much on my mind. I just start freestyling. Got true on the side just in case I need ad libs. Stop. Watch. Now I'm spitting off the top. I be Ooh. watching all these niggas like that's really all they got. If they put me in the game, promise I'm going to take the spot. Niggas or bitches, I'm with it. Just don't put me in the box. Brooklyn. <laughs> All right, no we got to we got to end we got to end with a um, another freestyle yeah. right. about what we discussed today. That's the wrap up, okay? okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So yeah, let's yeah, get yeah. Into it. You just did your big one for You did your big yeah. one. We ain't never had a freestyle. Yeah. yeah. Cliff ain't gave us that. Shout out to Cliff though. Cliff ain't gave us that now. <laughs> well, I got some words for Cliff cuz Cliff ain't came in with the freestyle. I ain't even asked for though. <laughs> Not true one of the freestyle chat. You don't like Atlanta food, but you no, like to pack your shit up and move to it. So what made you I move did. It was the biggest mistake that I ever made in my Ooh. life. Ooh. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> not for real, y'all. It was so... <sighs> was it? You got to get real used to Atlanta. Like, Atlanta is, uh, like, draining real bad. And then really? I moved here. Y'all, I got robbed. They robbed my and apartment. Now they do do that shit. They robbed my apartment <laughs> while I was out of town. And they took, you know, bullshit. And I was like stressed out about it, but I'm like, oh, fuck it. It's just materialistic things. Um, and yeah, Atlanta is just draining a little bit. And you gotta watch bitches. Cause in New York, you do if got, we don't you, fuck with you. You gotta be on your piece. We don't fuck with now. you. But in Atlanta, if they don't fuck with you, they still wanna fuck with you and be around yeah. you and be cool. Yeah. And that's confident. true. Like, they fake as hell. Yeah. yeah, that is true. They that like that saying, like, you gotta keep your enemies closer. And your that's, friends close. Yeah. Mm. That's like that's how Atlanta can I don't operate. wanna <clears throat> I'm not keeping my enemies. I'm not going through that saying. I'm not keeping yeah, my enemies I, close. Because real life, I'm scared of bitches. Like, I'm thorough and I'm, yeah, but I operate on a different type of energy. I'm scared of, like, people because people is just crazy and weird as fuck. Yeah. Especially when you move in, like, a different type of discernment. Like, you be feeling vibes and shit, and I don't got time. So I just stay by myself. I agree. Yeah. So for somebody who don't know you, how would you introduce yourself? Um... I'm just this kid from Brooklyn, you know, that started dressing up as a girl. <laughs> so before, how, long, how long you been doing it? For like 12 years. Before it was popping and before these niggas decided they wanted to put on wigs. Yeah. So I didn't have, yeah, I didn't have the Photoshop and the Facetune and the nice wigs and the hairstylist and the makeup artist. I had to literally go through the mud of it. I started at, in 2012 and I was like 14. With a raggedy ass wig on. And Screaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like just ah. looking crazy. I didn't have no inspiration. It was nobody doing nothing. Like it was, I had RuPaul, so but nobody, I didn't want to look like him. Nobody hell. inspired you. No. You just came out the block. Who? Yeah. Remy, Kanda. Remy? Remy, a little bit, but she didn't inspire my look and stuff. Some of my mannerisms is like hers, but that was it. Like I didn't have. So no, are you still cool with Remy? No. Nah. Well, we're going to talk about that. No, um, let's get, let's get a look. Hello, let's baby. Let's get into it, baby. <laughs> we ain't got to talk about it. Let's get into it. Um, I quit like 17 times working with her. When you idolize somebody, that's why I watch people like idolize Nikki and all of them and like, oh my God, I want to break with you. And Y'all don't know. Some people don't know that God be not putting you in certain rooms for a reason. Like, 
the people who you idolize, you wind up not liking them after that. You know, like, I find that very, very, very true. Because yeah. even with like niggas like rappers, like bitch, I love your music. And then like when I get like, to know you, oh my God, turn off, bitch. I don't yes, even want to listen to your music yeah. no more. Like, bitch, yeah. you're corny, yeah, real yeah, fucking yeah. like, <laughs> like, I don't even like you. Like, you are not yeah, this so fucking person who I thought like, you like, Just was. idolize right. them from afar. Yeah, don't no, try to seriously. work with them. Don't yeah. try to be friends with them. Me and her had a cool friendship and I was, um trying to hold on but i did it for seven years and i felt like after a while nikki started getting all the credit for the wigs i was doing like the 50 inches and stuff i'm putting remy in it and nikki come out with it it's like oh that's the nikki bust down that's the nikki 50 it's like bitch y'all just did this for the bt awards but y'all not giving me no credit did now saying that because you were feeling that way was it a situation where remy was feeling that way no but of course people when you're not doing a celebrity's hair anymore they're gonna say oh you got fired or why you not doing this person here no more they automatically think you left because they think that's like a world that everybody want to be in and stay in my fucking mental stability was starting to deteriorate like i um she flew me out to la this was like i had the last flight to la and I got to LA. By the time I got to the hotel, I'm like, oh, bitch, I cannot. Like, I got so, like, anxiety. I'm like, oh, I can't do this with her. And she got out her bed and everything and was looking for me. Like, Andre, where you at? Like, I'm telling you it's okay. Nobody knows this story. <laughs> I'm, she's like, I'm telling you it's okay. Ah, ah, ah. And I'm like, I nothing that you could do could fix this right now. Bitch, I don't know how I found the flight out of LA. But I landed probably at, like, 1 in LA. I was home at 7 o'clock. In the morning, the I had to go. Why? And then it, that kind of like set the tone of like, oh, Andre's a weird bitch. So I think she didn't want to work with me no more anyway. But she was, you know. But was it something that she's done or? No, it was just too much. I'm your hairstylist. I did not ask to be a celebrity hairstylist. I'm your hairstylist. I'm not happy with the way my life is. I want to be like a different person. Um, I'm not. I wasn't. After a while, I stopped getting like the fuel to like want to work in the industry period and then like it was just becoming too much for me and i was trying kept trying to tell her like girl i can't like i'm i don't want to go through like i'm good and i wasn't getting nowhere with her no more after seven years it was like nobody checking for you bitch no shade but <laughs> no shade nobody's checking for her oh my god really? when, she just put out a record recently and you don't think they uh, it's a feature her. but no you been on her page lately? I, no. Oh, <laughs> what's, the last song, what's the last song you listened to? I can't name. It what was, what, that, what people say? Oh, no, it they, was they um, three three songs. Oh, baby, I lose that million dollars. And it's no shade. She's I can't amazing, name. What? She I'm was an amazing person. You. She had her flaws, and just like we all do, she was flawed. But it was just not for me no more. Y'all see anybody else doing her hair? Oh. So was she like a bad person? <laughs> Hard to work with? Um, <laughs> was she hard to work with? No. I don't know because me personally, you can't play with me like that. Like I'm bitch, you're not but gonna I play, play with, with you me. like what? Like, you're not gonna talk to me crazy. How I be hearing about these celebrities talking to these people. You're not gonna talk to me crazy. If I, I will not show up to I don't give a fuck if it would be days where she doing a red carpet, I'm not showing up. I don't feel like it's today. Like I just I never I was 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, being a, trying to be a celebrity, being a celebrity hairstylist, getting traveling. I didn't want that for my life. I just wanted to be me. Like, I was going viral before I met Remy. I was already me. So it I was had like 20,000 followers. But that wasn't a lot. But in 2014, that was a lot. I was already him. Like, I was on World Star. I was viral already. So it was like a addition. It was like God planned it for us to be together because people took like, oh, this is a Brooklyn nigga. He always repping Remy. Remy's from the Bronx. It made sense. But after that, I was just like, girl, this is tired. Like, I'm good. And I didn't want to do nobody else here. They Have used to ask me to do Cardi, all of that. I'm like, no. I didn't. I Cardi? Didn't, yeah. When she was on Love and Hip Hop? And you just said no. Yeah. Why? And I would have gave Lucy on <laughs> that too, but we didn't think Cardi was going to be Cardi. So, like, so now you will want to work for Cardi? No. Because I remember you backstage working with Remy. And Remy right, but Remy and Cardi set. was on the same Love and Hip Hop season. And we like, oh, Cardi's like, whatever. 
and y'all thought Cardi wasn't gonna be nothing. We didn't think Cardi was. When I tell you that is the definition of do not Mm -hmm. ever, oh for sure, ever underestimate no bitch. Yeah, because I that's why Mm -hmm. I love Cardi wholeheartedly, and I I got a video of when she was telling self like, watch when I'm on that next level, that other level, and it's a lot of people who Mm -hmm. didn't think she was gonna be. Yeah, that girl mm-hmm. is that girl. No, and I'm telling you, y'all I, counted I that swear girl out. Not y'all. Y'all. Okay. Yes, <laughs> like I feel Don't the same way. Her. Like I feel the same way about everybody around me. Literally, yeah. like if I ever get any increment of anybody counting, like if I'm in a room mm-hmm. and they like counting jazz out or counting, we didn't count you party out. out as no, far as they, like, they oh, definitely like, did. They definitely did. She's gonna be a watch. Like no, we didn't do that. But we just like Cardi was like Cardi. She was like the another cast member. No, but what is a Dominican? But what is that Dominican girl that's in a strip club that that, we didn't that look got at her like broken that. tooth I just that, was like, that feel like she done got yeah. shot, she done got her body like this and that, and mm-hmm. she not this and she not that. She's not walking in Remy's shoes. She not. Yeah. But guess what? She's exceeded past Remy now. Oh, she's exceeded past Remy. And they, they say the she black exceeded, sheep always they, turn gold. Don't that's play. That's right. Uh-huh. And they say she exceeded past another one too, but... That's why Not they true, always. Just vibe. That's why they no, but that's why they always <laughs> at odds because they they see it. It's something that they I see think in everybody, that lady. I think that now has, everybody just got their lane. Like she's done some stuff that that other girl hasn't done, and that lady has done you know things that she yes. hasn't done, and Remy has done things that Cardi hasn't done. Cardi has done things that Remy hasn't, and they everybody just got their own. Everybody do, and you know, and shit. I feel like they taking it and they they getting into it and they just running with what they wanted out of that. That type of industry, like as like a music. female artist, uh-huh. like I wanted this, like yeah. I wanted this type of music. I see this music, I want to run with. Do you this. have a favorite female rapper? I do, but I don't like to talk about it. Uh, do you have a favorite gay rapper? I do. Oh. Saucy Santana. Uh, I was about to say shit is the only one. No, it's Lil Nas. It's Lil um, Nas. Oh, those are industry rappers. Shout out to Saucy Santana. Love his music. Love his. What? Music. How you feel about Candy? Duh, mm-hmm. love Candy. Oh, you like Candy? Me and Candy had a song together. Oh, really? <laughs> we just never put it out. But I, I love, like, I love, um, like, besides out of the industry. I'm not, we I have, like, I haven't came out yet, but when I do. No, but I love, I love, I love, love, love your freestyles. Yeah. I love your freestyles. Not I like your like tracks. You ended up I on a love regular it. song. But it's like, I don't feel like you would go anywhere. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> I no, agree. I swear to no, God. No, I agree. No, I, and I'm just You want to know why? No, for real. You want to know why I agree? You don't know what the fuck to say out of his motherfucking No, I don't is, know, but to be real, I swear to God, I don't know. It wouldn't go nowhere because I know how to rap. That's not... Like, I don't know how to make a song. Like, I can't make a song. Like, I tried. Like, I could remake. I remade like, Nikki's song. I With her hook. Not with her hook, but like a hook. Yeah. But sitting in there and trying to make a whole song. The verse. Hook, the, I cannot do that. Yeah. And I wouldn't, it wouldn't be commercial enough. It will be good as fuck. I could do, I could go, I could do all genres. I could do that. But, and to be honest, I don't want to be a rapper. Like maybe when I was two years ago, three years, it's regular now. Like I don't, and, I don't, and that's not even an industry that I'm excited to even enter. People are now starting to so come her, out what about. what the hell do you want to do? You don't want to do hair. Cause you no, want to do that lady do hair. hair. No, I didn't want to do hair at that time on that level as far as like bitch i want to be my own boss when you into that you gotta answer everybody her beck and call because you're her mm-hmm. personal hairstylist. i don't want to be nobody's personal hairstylist i want to do what i want to do i want to okay. move how i want to move i want to do my classes that i'll be doing okay. i do my classes i do i sell do my wig sales i do mm-hmm. you know bomb, living yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. yeah period so I wanna you do just don't like want to i don't want to be nobody personal hairstylist yeah connected to one person you yeah. yeah i want to move how vibe. i want to yeah, move i don't want now if you do book me out to do a no i i get it because that shit them hoes be taking shit too far bitch i'm in my bed i don't give a fuck if you got a flight at six bitches two o'clock in the morning I'm not like, getting the fuck up. Back. No, I Truth totally, that. I what totally feel you. Say, True. What if I was like a bitch who was like on the verge of suicide? That would have just made yeah, me. Yeah, it just would have. But that's crazy. what that's what I was about to say. Let me go back to that because somebody <laughs> would say that I contradicted my last statement when I said Cardi B. Y'all thought that Cardi B wasn't gonna be nothing, and then she is something. I don't want to make that in the same token. Why but do you I feel am, like I wouldn't be a good rapper? What I am saying a good is, artist. what I'm saying is. They do not know how to sell a gay artist. I have watched. Also, oh, you think that's why? I oh, swear it's not because I can't rap. Why. 
Hell no. Oh, I said no. you correct. It's just I the industry. Oh. The industry cannot sell it. They, oh, nice. they they cannot take it. So you don't think they're selling little Nas? They're selling little Nas, and but they saucy? cannot sell Saucy. They're trying to and make Saucy. And look at all the shit Lil Nas got to fucking do. Just how you, you right. say commercial, right. yeah. Lil Nas is commercial. Yeah. Saucy is a... Saucy gives me like a Foxy Brown, a Lil Kim, a Nicki, a, a, a Cardi, a City Girls, like a Trina. Mm-hmm. Like he gives me but like that. I think that he's doing well as far as being an artist. But the, it's the not music main that he's mainstream. No, the, it's like the music that he's putting out is more like, like they want to make him like a Lil Nas. They want him to follow like that track mm-hmm. that Lil Nas is going. He's wanting to follow a Trina lane. Mm-hmm. Like, and not saying that he wants to be like them. Yeah. But it's like, Saucy want to be like a hood bitch. Like he want to be like yeah. the girl, yeah. like that 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 like that gay boy. That's like, yeah. oh, I'm that girl. Like yeah. he want to be like. I think that, that's that what every person. gay rapper comes up under. Uh, you got people who want to be the Nickies. One of I started sounding like Remy. I had to like, come on now. This is crazy. Yeah, even Candy. Candy speaks bar like Candy. Yes, Candy. I would too. say honestly, I would say Candy is the top number one freestylist rap gay rapper yes. that is so. Underrated. When we went into the studio, he. Didn't write nothing. He was just like, "Bitch, I'm coming in here real quick." Like Candy and just said it. Candy baffles me, yeah. literally. But yeah. it's like it's sick that he would never. And I don't want to say never. I'm not gonna say never. But it's sick that it's like, gonna be harder today. For it's him. harder. Yes, it's harder for you. It's harder for Candy. It's yeah. harder for Cliff. It's harder. Let me for, not say I don't want to be an artist, and let me not say because. My tongue is very powerful, and I don't know, like, what if I change my mind? God be like, yeah, I want you, you to change me, your like, mind. You know, you because so, I know if I really put my mind to it. It's over for these bitches. It's over. And I don't even have to be mainstream as far as like whatever, but I will I just haven't like really touched the music thing. I haven't like put my all into it. I put my all into here and I've got everything that I needed from here so far. But if I was to put my all into rap, mm-hmm. it'd be over. It'd be over. And I can I don't have to it can be commercial. It don't have to be bars all the time. I know how to dumb it down. Like I said, I'll just probably need somebody to write me a hook. I've been telling Cliff to write me a hook, but yeah. I love Cliff. <laughs> yes. And Cliff is just so and Cliff like, got good songs. So. Cliff is just so like Cliff comparing like y'all to like rappers, you are compared to like a Remy Ma. Hmm. Um, I just told you don't compare me to that lady. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm like, sorry, me. You are like a Remy Ma. <laughs> Like what a Foxy rim? Brown. Like that old Foxy school Foxy like Brown. Me. Nikki you don't, don't like me. Nikki blocked me. Foxy blocked me. It's like, Are you serious? Girl. And then also working with Remy. And I love, I ain't gonna lie. I, I do. I'm closing a chapter on Remy because I feel like it is what it is with her. But doing her hair made people not like me a little bit. Like the Shade Room hates me. Uh, The Neighborhood Talk, they wouldn't post me. Um, A couple of people be like, oh, Nikki. Um, but I feel like with Nikki, Foxy. I think with Nikki is more so like. Let me say this first. I think Scarlet reminds me so much of Foxy Brown. For real? Yes. Like what I was song watching, you to I was watching her? Foxy today. Aww. Um, uh, I got to remember it. But anywho, going back to Nikki, I think Nikki is because of Raleigh. Why she don't like me? Mm-hmm. You want it will make sense because when Nikki was this is the around the time I got blocked from Nikki I guess but um when Nikki went to Jamaica or something I noticed I was blocked somebody tried to send me a picture of her or something and I noticed I was blocked and Riley was on that trip and Remy's old makeup artist and Nikki's stylist I think follows me but I'm like girl what I did to you like I don't know you girl so what's the tea with you and Raw <sighs> I don't know if her and Remy on the back scenes was talking about me but I did Raw here before. And <laughs> this, I didn't. I knew how to do hair, but I didn't really know how to do hair. I took mad long. I didn't have a car. I took the train. She was mad about that. Um, and she just started throwing shade at me or something. And we got into a little debacle, and it, it made the blogs or whatever. And um, it was like stemming from her not liking Remy or like trying to end that relationship because Remy didn't even know her and Rob was not friends no more. But whatever. Um. And then me and um, Ross stylist or whatever for her makeup artist, we was getting into it and stuff like that. But, bitch, when the last time you heard from Ra? No shade. I love on site because on site they be having the tea that the shade rooms don't be having, even though I block the all of them because I'm tired of them. The last time I heard from Ra was on Love and Hip Hop. No, I, being honest, was Black with Ink. the Cardi B situation. Oh, period. Yeah. Oh, cute. 
Yeah, that's the last time. Shout out to Rob. Unfortunately. Shout out to Rob, please. Who? Okay, so <laughs> we know you and Rob is a... You and Remy is a... You and Nikki is a... <laughs> but god damn bitch who you like who, who likes me and it's so crazy because when you when you go on my page or when you like see my videos you go on my live whatever you think i'm just this mean bitch mm-hmm. like people think i'm so mean people think i'm so and it's just like this is instagram mm-hmm. like this is not real life that's number one i'm so genuine i'm so a vibe i'm so that bitch mm-hmm. like you know on your bucket list who do you want to work with like, as far as doing their hair yeah I wanted to do Coco Jones, um, oh, Regina Carter. Her. But wait, wait, wait. Coco Jones is getting her hair styled by somebody I really like um, and really adore. I feel okay, like he does happened? her hair really good. Okay. You you don't think so? I guess her hair. I but okay. that was before she got fam- like before she got to Coco Coco. I'm like, okay. I seen her on a um the Terrell show, and I'm like, it'd be so just. I love doing brown girl like brown girls. I love rapping for the brown girls. Um, yeah, Coco, Regine, and that's it. I don't really. You kind of. I, I don't really have. And I don't idea. like having. Let no me not say them. that. Let me not say that because they're gonna probably rip me up in the comments. Right. <laughs> Just vibe to it. <laughs> you kind of. You kind of favor Regine a little bit, girl. <laughs> <please>. <laughs> No, for real. And I don't like doing that because they be saying like Carisha look like <laughs> Santana. <Yeah. laughs> Carisha do not look like Santana. And I don't like comparing like men to women. Why are we ugly? No, it's just like they, <laughs> it's not a comparison. And I don't want to insult women because you know That's like this insult. day and age. These, bitches, these guys be fire. They be looking good. No shit. Yeah, but Alonso. if somebody, if somebody Alonso, compare me Alonso to like... Alonzo looks so good. Alonzo... But if you compare picture? somebody... If you compare them to like... If you say... Because I'm going to be like, bitches, you trying to say right, I look like a man. Like a man. Yes. Because right. it was a picture I seen of Alonzo. He looked like Beyonce. And then it was another one. Yes. He looked like Jennifer Lopez. I'm like, yes. oh my God. Yeah. Alonzo don't look like a boy at all. No. So, no. no. And it's It depends like, on who they compare you to. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes... Yeah. Bitch, what you trying to say? Because if you could... I'm not gonna say nobody's name. Say, bro. Joe, drop a name so I can get an example. No. Just give me one example. Y'all been messy already. I mean, you might as well finish it up. Give me an example of a comparison. Um, <laughs> I think all of the, some of these, all of these niggas look like Bobby Brown in a wig, but Ooh. that's not for me to judge. Okay. And it's no shade. I love that. I thought we was just playing dress up. I didn't know we was really taking, taking it, it there. serious and like doing getting titties is all like that's a bit much. <laughs> like it's a lot. Like come on, and I think it's only because it's popular now. Like y'all got to think about yourselves in ten years. Because I thought about it. Of course, when you dressing like a girl, you so uh, you wouldn't yeah. take it that. Step. No, I think that's doing too much. I thought about it in 2019, 17, 18. I was like, yeah, I'm going. I'm. Let me just start it. And I thought about it recently. And Cliff was like, bitch, bro. I'm like, yeah, I might as well. But it just be a thing in your mind. But you have to think about yourself outside of Face App and FaceTune. You got to think about yourself <laughs> outside of them filters. You got to think about yourself when you ain't got the brows done and no contour and all of that. And it's just like when you look in that mirror and you say, Holiday Heart, is that you? Ooh! <laughs> like, <laughs> no. Wanda. But wait, you be <laughs> saying that? Holiday. You be saying that? <laughs> Do I say that? Mm-hmm. I know my lane. I know that I have progressed as a... Because I was... Uh, I just dressed up for y'all today. I literally was a boy for two months. Well, yeah, I've like seen it. And you've been looking I had to... so good as a boy. And it's True crazy police, how... Those are... <laughs> no, for real. It's like crazy how like y'all could like switch like that. Uh... I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think makeup and all of that stuff has, has, has advanced and stuff like that. Like, even... Um, I, I know my lane. Like I said, I know not to, I know outside of, when I take off this makeup, girl, that's a boy. Like, mm-hmm. that's why I don't Most get my makeup definitely. done by certain makeup artists because you're going to make me look like a boy. I've learned how to do my face to where it looks like something to me. Like, I know what to do, what to, what features to take out and stuff like that. But you're a guy. You're a man. And I live my life day to day as a nigga. I love being a nigga. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Forget>. <laughs> like, I, just, <laughs> I love being a nigga. Like a nigga loves being me. Um, I love everything about being not everything about being a nigga. Like I feel like God knew if you knew I was gonna be wearing heels and you know all of that. You could have gave me a small foot. You could have gave me a little petite I'm back. Screaming. Bitch, you gave everything to Alonzo Arnold. No shame, bitch. You made him petite and nice and small. Bitch, you gave me a beard. He gave me a big foot. He gave me manly features. Like it's like, oh, you knew how my life was gonna be. You so do you feel like it down a little bit? You can't. You can't do like the beard and the wig. Thing. No. You don't like. That I vibe? never did that. I've never. I used to dress up as a boy. And wear makeup, but I never. That was before I grew my beard out. But that is not cute. It's not cute, cute for me. Like mm-hmm. not with the wig and stuff. It's like, girl, what we doing? Like mm-hmm. that's not that's not my lane. I don't, I'm not doing that. Like you do it so effortlessly. Oh, thanks. Like you. even like you'll get ready with me. So I love watching them. Um, y'all, like, by the way, transition? True looks so good in real life. <laughs> and I don't know if he told Clip. I asked True on a date. On a date. Did he tell you? Oh, you did. <laughs> you know, True, tell us that shit. <laughs> y'all, I asked True on a date. So True needs to stop pouring all these compliments. And True curves me, y'all. But um, True like hood niggas, baby. True, he don't do the weird shit. Um, True was in a club and I didn't, I, I seen True before. Um, I'm like, I never seen True. True popped up on my page. I never seen you. Like before you popped up on my page. Um, Andre, we was at the club together. That's, I'm talking about before that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I see him and I tell Big Sexy, I said, bitch, who is your friend? And why you, I never seen him. But lo and behold, True, me and True spoke to each other before in DM, mm-hmm. remember? Um, in like 2014, 15. Mm-hmm. So True, I've been at it. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so when I seen him, I'm like, oh, True is cute. So I, I just kept watching him in the club. And then he walked past me. I'm like, you are so handsome. Because I like, True like the hood niggas. That's cute. Now, True, you know, we chilling. But I no, like but my niggas I really feminine. No, but I really don't like hood niggas. I like my niggas feminine. So, True, what you trying to say? You trying no, to, you, it, okay, you going to so, slide into the DM again after this or something? Like, what's okay, up? Okay, so let me, say, let me say this. I don't like, I don't like being, having to be a secret to somebody. And I feel true, like. True, when I asked you on a date, when I said, True, let me take you out. Why did you curve me? I can't remember that. Yeah. I thought you said I'm you would to never re- talk to somebody who do the wigs and stuff. I wouldn't. But I don't remember like me curving. Like I feel like I I've I never experienced it and I'm so scared of it, honestly. Cause what it's like I don't know what like I'm so scared of trans girls. I'm not a trans girl. Cross dresses trans, um. like it's like I don't <laughs> know. And it's like cause it's like I don't know why. And let me say this for the record. I don't know what it is about me that has... Have you ever had a crush on, like, a... Because y'all be wanting to smack the trans girl's ass and fill on their titties and I all of that? I, I have. Like, I feel like... You had a crush on a trans girl before? Yes. Um, I have. You. But I think that I I can't take it there because it's not like that I see you in that light to knowing that, that I see a future in you. <laughs> I see tr- a future in Y'all had men. true went on that date... And True would have started liking me. I would have fucked True Life up. So, you know, it Ooh. is like... <laughs> I'm Ooh. glad he didn't accept that date, y'all. But True is very handsome, y'all. And I think we could always fun. run it back. Mm-mm-mm. I'm going oh, to set y'all up for the date. Ooh. Yes, we should go on a date, True, for real. Where you want to go? Fogo de Child. I love Fogo de Child. <sighs> that sounds like some B. shit. I ain't going to like the food. No, I no, swear to God, you no, going to love it. for it. They just bring out a whole bunch of like. So we should meets. do that for lunch tomorrow. It's, we should. <laughs> you can't take we should. my date. All right. I mean, we could dump. Four, well, apartment 4B. Apartment 4B is. Uh, uh, I ain't like you that. Like, you you want to like go it? on a date, y'all. I'm a, I'm a fuck you like that. Uh, because you want to know what's so funny? I dress like a girl and all of that. Like, I'm a, I really a nigga. Like, and I love No, it but you are cancer. Them New York niggas be crazy. Why you don't like cancers? And you. I, we we did all of this zodiac sign things. Like we have, I probably have similarities, but it's a lot of cancer bitches I will never hang out with. Like I wouldn't even be friends with you. Yeah, I can't do it. Cancers like they just be so vindictive, so narcissistic. Oh, that's the one you dated. Yeah, you dated one. Uh-huh. Yeah, I dated one. I have a cousin. <laughs> that's your, not that's your little word. Oh, because <laughs> <laughs> we do get a little crazy. I I I do overthink. Like I overthink real bad. Um. But I be overthinking logically. Like, bitch, if you going, 
I dated one of Cliff's friends, and he went all the way to Mexico. And I said, oh, bitch, you want to go take a trip? I'm taking a trip, too. So I came to Atlanta just to get my mind off of it. If you go to Mexico and y'all on a trip, why am I hearing from you until the end of the night? That's crazy. So that's but like, don't give me a no, reason. No, man, no, no, he had no, no, but when we got, when we went out of town. No, don't make no excuses for that, man. No, that's how it is, though. No, I swear to you, like, out of the country, no your phone, your phone mm-hmm. don't work. Mm-hmm. Seriously, it don't work until you get around some Wi Fi. You mm-hmm. it only works in that, that Airbnb. You, that means you call yeah. T Mobile and you say, I'm going out the country and I need y'all to give me my money. No, minute. still. That, and no, you know even what you gotta if you do? do that. No, let me tell you. It don't work still, but you gotta okay, let me see 150 because you need to go ahead and buy this package at T Mobile. All right, see, that's doing too much. If your phone not working, boo, that's all right, bitch. Don't do that on the phone. Like, because I'm not giving you no, I'm not giving you no prepaid card, bitch. This is not, yeah. Why you want to talk to me? You that just is said. so 2003. I'm not doing it. So you're not a city boy, city girl. Like, you, city you're not girl? into the city girls. What's the city girl? Buy me. Like, make me you feel good. You don't trick. You don't trick off. No, I'm a trick. I trick. Like, they don't trick off on me. I've never had a, I've never had a boyfriend. I've never been in a relationship. I've never, like, nothing. I don't so know. you I will think... trick off on me. You'll true, make me feel good. true, girl, true, girl, true is no shit. Girl. I don't know what niggas you been trying to talk, you been talking to, but I'm not the Atlanta niggas. The Atlanta niggas trick, trick. I'm going to do things to make you feel good, yes, but it has to be reciprocated. I've never had reciprocated energy. I don't took niggas on trips. Oh, no, I'm always reciprocating did, like, energy. But it's like it's most definitely not. So is it's you not the girl average. or the boy in a relationship? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how this gonna work. You know, I'm oh, like if, if me and True date, um, <laughs> he gonna like both. He gonna like both. They just two different people. What if I would have came as a boy today? That that disappoints people so bad. Even when I do people here, they like, where's all the... I'm like, bitch, you get in the front suit. Like, what are you worried about me having Your the front Your hat is for? late, though, bitch. Yeah, you think so? Mm-hmm, Thank yeah. you. It's it. tingling so bad, y'all. Yeah, but your lace, your lace is melted, bitch. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Thank you. You know, I tried. I was in the bed I said, oh, Lord. So, wait. No okay, let, let's go back to what we was discussing. Okay. What's going on with you and Cliff? Because that's... <laughs> Cliff is my my boy, my girl, my every. That's yes. like my Barbie. I love Cliff. Okay, so I got a couple of things to address about Wade Cliff. Because l- Cliff. before you get started, mm-hmm. because I don't want to talk over you, because they be saying in the comments, I be talking over the guests. I heard them say that. Yes, <laughs> Cliff said allegedly that you be oversleeping, y'all be going, he be having shit set up for you, y'all be oh, going. Oh, Cliff sounded like a boy. business manager. I, you were the like, boy no, that I didn't he like was talking about. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, mm-hmm. I was. Mm-hmm. I didn't like some of the stuff that Cliff was saying. Like, Cliff was like, um, oh, we're going to look at... I, it's no shade. Like I said, Alina is draining. So, bitch, if I want to get my Z's in, let me get my Z's in. No, yes. because you However, supposed to be standing on your business. If you say, oh, I want to do this... And we are handling business today. Get your ass the fuck up and let's go look at these sweets. This is this is very Especially if I have a busy schedule and I'm making time out of this. This is true, however. And then Cliff also said, Andre probably think I'm a bad friend. I'm like, no, I don't think Cliff is a bad friend. However, and this is very like, um, this is a lot, because I gotta talk to Cliff after this. No shade. Um I feel as though Cliff is like a good friend, yes. Mm-hmm. Cliff is a good business friend, too. Like, Cliff is like, bitch, we got to do this, 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 Motivation. and that. I, 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 I. Mm-hmm. I'm more of a friend. We have just different definitions of a friend. When I seen, when Cliff called me and Cliff is venting and Cliff is doing his ones and twos, it's like, oh, you came in at the perfect time to be the friend that not, not the friend that Cliff wants, but the friend that Cliff needs. Like, Cliff was talking about, oh, I got her body done and I got all of this and all of that. And that's cool. That's cute. My definition is, bitch, what if I can't afford to get your body done? Or what if I can't afford to buy you a pizza or something? I got to make sure you stay in, you know, you're a friend friend. So when you attract those type of people that you could get their bodies done or you could take them shopping and you could do all of that, you'll attract them for the Wrong right reasons. reasons for them. Yeah. You know? And they'll stay around as long as they can for that opportunity. And yeah. then now it's just like you sitting on the sideline like, oh, bitch, I thought that bitch was my friend. No. She, yeah. you know. Mm. And Cliff, when Cliff said, oh, yeah, I called Andre. But Andre was going through whatever he was going through. My misery don't like company. 
So I'm not going to bring you around. If you're going to get one me all the time, even, and I don't even be sad for real. I just be going through all my, my little shit because we human and you know, but I'm going to get through it. It's nothing I'm, that I'm going to go through that I'm not going to get through. So right. when I'm going through my shit, I'm going through my shit. Cool. You just want to be Cliff called me talking about, oh yeah, I wanted you to perform. Bitch, I don't even have a song. Perform what? Where? When? Like, and this is around the time where my house got robbed and stuff like that. And Cliff was the second person I called because Cliff is part of the reason I'm even in Atlanta. And I live here. He's like, bitch, move. I'm telling you. I'm like, oh, this could be great. Cliff ain't never been to my house. Like, don't think he's a bad friend. However, all business shit is aside and all of that, like, where all of that shit is said and done and all of that's gone, you got to make sure you got people around you that's going to start from scratch with you. Like, so I was showing... Cliff, that side of a friendship. I was showing him, like, bitch, this is what a real friend is. Like, bitch, I don't give a fuck what you got, how you got it. When I don't care if you don't got it. I don't care. Like, I don't care. I'm always going to show up as a friend. With, I don't have that many friends, but everybody, even the friends that I don't have now, they all got one thing in common. Andre was a real ass bitch to me. Andre was one way to me. Like, yeah, he said I'm a little a crazy. Life. I'm a little, you know, because I, you, whatever, but I'm, you know, I generate on genuine energy and mm -hmm. you know my vibes is always vibing and i'm gonna make sure you have a good time i'm gonna look out for you your people if i don't like that's just my vibes that's my and i wanted to showcase that to cliff because the people who he's around he got a couple good friends you know but i wasn't trying to be an opportunist an opportunist he was the first person to put me on a song and make me an a official fire artist song. a fire song you know shout out to um all the smoke um, but yeah, so I think he's a dope friend, but Cliff be looking at it like, bitch, we got to get to the bag. Like, you know, yeah. like, I don't give a fuck if we fighting over the bill. I don't care. Like, I don't care about stuff like that. Yeah. I care about like, bitch, I, when we get off the phone, I want to know I got off the phone and we done talk some real shit to each other. You done fed me. I done fed you like words of everything, affirmations and all of that. Bitch, I do text you five times a week saying, are you good? Because if I'm asking you, are you good? I'm prepared to do something. If you say no, I'm not. Oh, so bitch, I'm gonna make sure what we're gonna do to make sure you good. But I'm going to talk to Cliff. Cliff is a friend that I want. That's that's my bitch. And we definitely had a lot of things in common. And you know, we just had to, you know, part our ways for a little bit. It's yeah, and when when I seen y'all like come together as one, mm -hmm. I was like, damn, that is so powerful. Mm -hmm. Especially seeing two gay rappers, two gay mm -hmm. hairstylists, yeah. two two guys from up north that's And Cliff, really, that like, bitch just want to get to the money. That bitch that just want to be a billionaire. And I love that. However, that's sometimes, that drive. sometimes I have that drive. Don't get it twisted because Cliff made his coins and I love that for Cliff. I was making my coins too. I was 18 and I made my first 100K. You know, motherfuckers was doing that at 18 in 2015. Well, I was like 19 or whatever, but I know what it feels like to have everything. I know what it feels like to have nothing. I know what it feels like to have everything again and have nothing again. When they robbed me, that wasn't, it was nothing to soak in. It wasn't nothing to be like, oh my God, like I'm robbed. I don't have those bags anymore. I don't have, when I'm calling people telling them I got robbed, they asking me, oh, did they take this? Did they take, I don't give a fuck what, they invaded my space. I don't care about a bag. I could get the bag again. I don't care about it. I didn't enjoyed my bags. I would love, if you robbed me, bitch, and you watching this, please bring back my camera. <laughs> Because yeah, the price yeah. on that camera right now is <laughs> it's no <laughs> hey. But if not, I hope you're taking some great pictures. Hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wasn't worried about it. I was just worried about like my, like how am I going to be sane for me? Because I have to, I realized like life goes on. The day I walked in my house and I found out I was robbed, I found out my father was dead. And Are you so, serious? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this oh taught me gosh. like life so sorry literally to hear that. things. Life literally goes on. It don't matter what happens today, tomorrow. Life literally goes on. Like, it's nothing you can do. I didn't call Cliff and say, oh, can you do this? Because if you, I can't do nothing about it, you damn sure can't do nothing about yeah. it. I just needed, like, you know, a friend. Like, it's just, you know, I ain't have nobody to call. I lost one of my best friends. He didn't die, but, you know, he's not my friend anymore. But I, I'm more so a friend like that. Like, it's just be around... When it ain't vibes. When well, it we would love know. for um you and Cliff to get y'all energy back together. If we oh, gotta we bring y'all, if we gotta bring out on the show, bitch, we will. Cause <laughs> yes, you know that's yes, what they do. That's, that's what we do. 
Cliff is Cliff Bitch, is very he was very motivated. <laughs> he was That's very what we do on that next episode. We're not crazy, just misunderstood. <laughs> Bring about together. Let's go. He Period. was he was definitely a he was a vibe. He was he was definitely motivating to me. He you know made sure I stayed on my shit and stuff like that. Even when I ain't feel like zooming, night, he was like, "Bitch, do it." Ah, ah, ah. And so he's great in that aspect, but. I want him to see my side of yeah, things. Yeah, and I totally, to, I know, totally uh, understand uh, my definition of, of a friend. Because yeah, I, and then I was dealing with one of his friends. It was that just was a lot. Draining. It was just draining. It's okay. We're, we're gonna, gonna if we don't do an episode, sweat. we're gonna set up a little lunch. You know, yeah. yes. we, we can all go to Fogo de Chao. Yes, we could do that. <laughs> yeah, we definitely gotta. Um, Let's do that. Well, yeah, we we gonna organize okay. it. So Andre, yeah. we appreciate Shout out you. To Cliff. I love Cliff, y'all. By the way, Ooh, that's like baby, one of my favorite. Party. Yeah. <laughs> She's farting on the podcast. This is crazy. But she be farting up a storm, and we don't even be knowing. No, this I told y'all this time. <laughs> no, seriously, that's the symptom. It gives you gas. Shout out to Claire for love that for him. Anyway, <laughs> ooh, we <it's> steak today. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Andre, for coming. I appreciate you. Oh. It was a great episode. I hope y'all liked the episode. No, what happened to our freestyle at the end? Oh, Come yeah, on. Wrap it, Go ahead. Give us do a wrap up. up. Y'all, yeah. y'all, I'm sweating. I've been drinking wine. My mind is going to go blank. I'm not going to fuck up on this show. I can't give y'all freestyle. All right, all right, all right. The next time. L- love y'all down. And thank y'all so much for having me. I love Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so thank that you. is it for this week's episode of Not Crazy, Just Misunderstood. Period. 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 Ooh. All right. Thank you so much.